Well, sometimes you don't even need to actually plan a live. I just decided to go randomly into lives on a couple different platforms tonight and just worked on my mirror. And uh, I got three offers on the mirror so far. So I haven't decided on pricing still, but we've done a lot of work. I have recorded very little of it because I'm just too busy uh, being in the moment. I have brought in the Liquitex um, fluorescence, though. It's Alice in Wonderland. I feel like Blacklight's the way to go, you know? It's a trippy-dippy movie, and uh, it needs some, some bold, impactful colors. And Liquitex brings those with their fluorescence. So, showed it a bunch tonight. People are loving the work so far. I have to throw the hat around still. And I still want to throw on some roses and some random other stuff, but uh, it's coming together. It's definitely, I added the white rabbit tonight. Um, I did some more detail on the Cheshire cat and I repainted over the mushrooms and the grass I added and instead of using the paint pen, which was my base. Everything's been a sketch and paint pen and I'm going over it with acrylics afterwards. Um, <laughs> wasn't the plan, but it is the plan now. And, uh, yeah, that, it, it, it's, it's got richer texture. It's got more vibrant colors um, because, you know, they blend better than, say, pen pens do. So uh, it's got some good shading. The blue, I just got to outline where I have the light blue and dark blue because it's so faint you can't tell the difference. And I mixed a little blue into the white for the rabbit so he glows but I'm going to try and find a Tide pen so I can go over him because that'll make him pop bright white. So if I could find that, cool. If not, uh, you know, little light blue on the rabbit will still do for some white. So I'm still happy with what I got so far. And we'll have more coming up tonight. I'm going to be probably going go back in the studio in a little bit. So here we are back in the studio. And like I said, I went with the Liquitex um, fluorescence. So when I put the black light up, it pops. So that is light blue, but so is the rabbit. So they look white together because the, you you know the rabbit is white. So the blues look white. There's also blue in the underside of the mushroom to give the underside color. So I'm going to mix some greens into the mushroom to get everything to flow better. And same thing with our um, caterpillar, who's right here. And I'll put his hookah sitting alongside him. That is the drink me bottle where I'm going to outline. And we'll put drink me in there. But you can see the square I was going for. I just have to outline it because the separation line will help. And the butterflies are going to get um, more defining markers on him. <laughs> the cat, he's going to get a lot more detail going to him too. Uh, this I turned into a clock. Which is actually hooked up to the rabbit. And it's glowing an orangish yellow so that I can go in with cooler colors for the, uh, or black for the freaking hands. And the hands are going to be swiveled and stuff. So let's turn the lights on and show you guys what it looks like without. So here's your view with the lights on. Hope you enjoy it. Like I said, I, I still have a lot of work to do. There's a lot of metallics and fluorescence in here that's been layered in, but I have a lot more work. Um, shading will take care of that. Then the clock is gonna have a lot of detail in it. I have the base for the chain, but I'm still gonna go over that. The rabbit still needs color in his eyes and his bow tie. That butterfly, again, all the butterflies are gonna get the little, mar little markers and there's gonna be some nodules on top of the mushrooms as well. Uh, some shading and a lot of line work. The caterpillar, his face is going to be like right about here. And then I'm going to kind of ridge this down and kind of um, armor his back the way it's going to layer. Um, I'll have to ridge this bottle here and get that cap to look all pretty. And then again, the caps, stuff like that, this little flower. I'm liking the way this is coming out. This is going to have a little more to it, but not too much, I think. That stays simple, make life easy. This is the tail for the treasure cat. I'm gonna make that more definitive with striping. And uh, yeah, that is what I'm working on right now. Hope you guys like what I'm doing. 
Um, if you did put a comment in or you wanted to put a comment in on what I should do with this, it's too late. But stay tuned. And if you're just joining, hey, I'm Jado's Arts. Um, check me out. I do weird stuff like this online all the time. Come on down. We love people that want to interact with my channel, man. If you throw something in the comments that you want to see, when I'm bored, I'm going to work on stuff like that. So uh, you could be featured in a video. All you got to do is interact with me.